Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and today we're going to be doing a card analysis from all the new cards on the Bio Burly banner and the droppable ones from the event. Now let me just clarify really quick, I will not be going over the LR Hercule and Miss video or the new two Doken Awakenings for the Trunks and Goten. That's going to be for a different video just because there are too many cards. So let's start off with summoning rates. Right now, the three cards that we're interested in are the new ones. So we have the Super Saiyan Trunks, which is getting about 0.739 overall rate. We have the new Android 18, which has about a 0.679 rate. And the new Go 10, which has a 0.664 rate. So these rates are kind of garbage. Uh, the banner is filled with Go 10s, Trunks, and 18s. And the two SSRs on here um, look to be the two Android 18s. So it's really not that amazing. Uh, each one has a 5% rate to pull. Uh, they're decent because I guess you can always grab them, Z-Awaken them, and then feed them into any of your SSR Android 18s. Uh, outside of that, I don't find any real use for them. Um, they're both they're just, they're just, they are both just the standard 18s. Neither of them are the future. So, uh, take that for what you will. Let's go ahead and talk about the uh, cards now. So, the, farm, the first one is the Farmable Krillin from the event Encouraging Support Krillin. His leader skill is key plus 2, attack plus 20%, when HP is 8% or below, super attack triple Kamehameha causes extreme damage to the enemy and all allies attack plus 20% for one turn. Passive skill, thinking of the family, key plus 3 and attack plus 3000, HP is 8% or below. Uh, link skills are Sea Fighters, Turtle School, Courage, Best Buddies, Rival Duo, and Kamehameha, and max stats are HP of 6548, attack of 5938, and defense of 3770. He is available on the Bio Broly events, and he drops on stage 4. I don't have any information about his drop rates, so uh, just he's available on stage 4. He's not an amazing character by any means whatsoever, but I guess he's cool for collective purposes. He is free to play, so there will probably be events in the future where he's going to be relevant. Um, outside of that, you could always farm him up and increase the tech SSR if you bought it from Baba Shop. You could do that if you like. The next card we're going to talk about is the new Super Saiyan Trunks card. He is a tech type, Inherited Pride, Super Saiyan Trunks Kit. His leader skill is tech and physical, key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 20%. So he's sort of like a little mini lead uh, for the tech and physical types. Super attack, triple Kamehameha. Causes supreme damage to the enemy, all allies attack plus 20% for one turn. So similar to Krillin's, he's going to get a supreme damage. Passive skill, Inherited Spirit, attack plus 80% at the start of the turn. Guard is activated, damage received reduced by 40%. That's pretty good. There are some rare cards that actually have that passive part where damage received is reduced. The first one that comes to mind is that physical Mr. Hercule, or uh, Mr. Satan, not Hercule Satan. He has the damage received reduced by 40%, I believe, or 30%. One of those two when his guard is activated. So that, that's really freaking useful to have, uh, especially on Detective. The only thing that stinks, he's only going to be good when going up against an agility unit because of that. Uh, his passive skill, though, with that, that attack buff is great. Yeah, Link skills, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, The Innocents, and Prepared for Battle, not bad at all. Max stats are HP of 8026, Attack of 8243, and Defense of 4532. The next one is Heretic Courage, Super Saiyan, Goten Kit. Leader skill is Intelligence and Physical Key Type, plus 2, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 20%. Uh, super Attack, again, Triple Kamehameha, causes Supreme Damage to the Enemy, All Allies, Attack, plus 20% per turn. Again with that. Uh, passive skill and heritage bravery high chance of attack was 80 percent reducing incoming damage by 40 percent so because i guess that they, they kind of tried to mimic the two cards because they're very similar with each other um trunks has that guaranteed attack plus 80 percent um but his guard is when his guard is activated his damage received is only is reduced by 40 percent because of that uh goten has the unrestricted uh, reduced damage by 40 percent but only has a high probability of attack plus 80 percent so take that for what you will um, you know, reducing incoming damage by 40% on uh, intelligence type is pretty cool. I, it's kind of useful because they're they're either meant for stunning um, or for damage reduction. I mean, if you think about it, one of the androids, Android 13, has that damage reduction ability, and if you have this Goten, he's going to be tanking everything. Link skills. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, The Innocents, and Prepared for Battle. Max stats are HP of set 87, 44, deck of 80, 27, and defense of 44, 43. 
Uh, the next card is going to be the new Android 18. She is a strength type. Cute reversal, Android 18. Leader skill, strength and physical, key plus 2, HP attack, defense plus 20%. Super attack, Destructo Disc, causes supreme damage to the enemy, raises attack for three turns. Okay, cool. Uh, you guys all know how I feel about that. But, uh, yeah, the, the raising attack for three turns. We don't know the percentages, but her passive skill is Balanced Combat. Attack and defense plus 40% at the start of the turn, and she gets an additional 40% to her attack when her health is at 50% or above, or when your health is 50% or above. So she'll be doing attack plus 80% as long as your health is over 50%. I don't like that that restrictive of that 50%. Maybe they drop to like 30, it'll probably be better. Link skills are money, money, money. Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Shocking Speed, Battlefield Diva, and Infinite Energy. Now she does have a Doken Awakening. And she requires 7 of her own medals from the new Bio Broly event. And those medals are available on Stage 3. You drop from Stage 3, she Doken Awakens into Skillful Tactics Android 18. Her new leader skill is Strength and Physical, Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%, so she's a cool little mini leader. Um, super Attack, Power Blitz, causes supreme damage to the enemy, raises attack for 6 turns. That's actually a little bit more relevant. Uh, I like the 6 round because at least it stays around for a while. Passive skills, Added, Payback, Attack and Defense plus 50% at the start of turn, an additional 50% of attack when HP is 50% or above. So instead of reducing the restrictive, they just increased uh, all the sets around, so she'll be doing attack plus 100% when you're at 50% or more health. Her new link skills are Money, 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 Android Assault, Twin Terrors, uh, Shocking Speed, Battlefield Diva, Infinite Energy, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, one the weird thing about it is she has so many damn, like, actual key link skills, but they're really not useful at all. Unless you're running an Android team, uh, she does have Shocking Speed. She, the Android 18 is really the only realistic woman to run on a team unless you have support from one of the Valentine Banner characters. Uh, infinite energy not so much and shattering the limit is kind of eh, it's hit or miss uh, but anyway her help met max stats are hp of 88 68 attack of 83 33 and defense of 46 84. now the one we are going to talk about the one that we're probably everyone's kind of mixed feelings about bio broly he is a tech type vengeful monster bio broly his leader skill is tech attack plus 50 percent when hp is 50 percent or above now that is garbage that is a garbage leader skill we will never use um, super attack bio hyper beam causes extreme damage to the enemy passive skill mindless fighting when facing one enemy defense plus 70 percent but attack minus 50 percent that is why people think he's garbage when facing two or more enemies attack plus 70 percent but defense minus 50 percent so i mean he's a tank yet granted you don't need another tank on a tech team because you do have other cards that are worth it or better tanks in general but he's a free-to-play tank for People who are new, this isn't a bad card whatsoever. Don't think he's bad just because he doesn't hit hard. It is This game is meant for tactics. He is a great defender. Link skills are Super Saiyan, the Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Revival, and Nightmare. Max stats are HP of 74.23, attack of 71.40, and defense of 41.13. He awakens, he token awakens with 12 Broly medals, which or Bio Broly medals, which are available on Stage 5. Three Go Ten medals, which are available on stage two. Three Trunks medals, which are all available, which are also available on stage two. And three Android 18 medals, which are available on stage three. He Doken awakens into a Demon's Revival Bio Broly. His leader skills now: Tech Key plus one attack and defense plus 50% when HP is 30% or above. If you're lacking a Tech leader, he might be a little bit better for you. He doesn't have that HP buff though. That kind of sucks. Um, his super attack: Eraser Cannon. Weird that they named it Eraser Cannon. Causes supreme damage to the opponent. So you're getting a free SSR that Doken Awakens to a TUR and has Supreme Damage. So uh, there, that's not bad at all. Supreme, I mean, granted they do because his attack is minus 50%, but still, I mean, that's not still not a bad unit at all. Uh, when facing two or more opponents, attack was 100%, but defense minus 50%. This guy's going to be a tank. That's all there is to it. He's going to be a tank when he faces one opponent. I mean, his defense stats is kind of low in general, the defense of 45-35, but if you're throwing him on a mono-extreme tech lead, once we get him anyway, um, he's going to be a freaking pretty good beast. Let's see, his link skills, he just gets added on the Shattering Limit. So it's Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Revival, Nightmare, and Shattering Limit. Not a bad card at all. I mean, it's worth grinding out, especially if you're free to play. It never hurts. And I mean, he drops as an SSR, so you could always just feed in the two pads with before you don't awaken him anyway, just in case you want to, you can, you can buff that damn uh, defense stat to actually make it worth that, uh, worth it for the boost. 
But that's it, guys. That's for this banner. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing the LR Hercule banner a little bit later today. And since it's Tuesday, it is my Top 5 Tuesday. So I'll be dropping my Top 5 Tuesday video a little bit later as well. Thank you. Hit that sub button if you're new here. And I will catch you in the next video.